But top lane, they've disposed and vacuumed Parker back. His refraction's up. He's got a meld as well, but he's being burnt down by this iron shell. Parker is your first blood as Matthew claims the first kill of the South American DPC two or three, and that's Marcy with a with a dark aggressive. So once they hit level three and they just did iron shell, like Dark Shirt uses a lot of mana. I think he might die again. And here we go again. Yeah, just pop the mangoes and have a go. Run straight towards the TA who has good body his blocks. refraction. Four one charges up his sleeve here, Parker. He pops them, but that does very little. He can try and oh, block block the line of access there with a tree. Meld maybe to hide away, but the rebound from Matthew secures yet another. Is level two. She has a point in meld and a refraction, so she needs to be in a melee mode to be able to hit the creeps. And uh, at... one more time, yeah, he's just dead. <laughs> like he can try to use Matthew ink go. swell, but gonna get stunned and die, dead. He's died. He he's died. I just stopped he's speaking died. English. Yeah, he's dead died. Dead. dead. Proper dead, dead mate. Pretty Armando dead. Dives. Died to dead. Five to nil. Michael TP's in here, but to no avail. And now they jump in. Matthew has that rebound disposed into the Firefly. And a sixth kill on the cards here. Matthew. As, oh, Margo oh, picks it up, but he fairy. does. Ooh. Does feed away his life. Did he have a fairy? Trying to chase, scouting things out to see what's happening. And now the lanes are really in a rough spot because Oscar is level four on a Beastmaster. Uh, he Maybe. definitely needs level six. Dark I mean, if he this bat, he's popped his fairy fire, but that inks well. And three heroes coming down there. Collect up. Catch Pandamu, who was trying to hide in the trees just behind Pakar's Luna. He's going to cold embrace himself. More magic damage should be coming in a sec, though, as Axel will just hold the sidelines. Matthew does pick up a kill elsewhere onto that TA, and Pakar's. Bullying back Michael and Oscar as Dark Margo has respawned. This is the big bad bat coming into play. Dodges the. Oh, this well might and... be like four kills. <laughs> yeah, uh, Luna just pummeling damage forward. Even levels up the Eclipse there. Find alone, but they don't get any more. Oscar does get clipped by a, a nice flame break on top of that sticky nape arm. So Luna grabs a double. I thought ankles because it doesn't oh, make Marcy. sense. Soulbound does connect on Dark Margo and they get the double doom out. I've killed Marcy off, and in they come. Infamous battling around there, tier one. Trapped to slow down the Winter Wyvern on the escape. Park is there with a meld down to half HP, and Pandamu. Good curse, but this is Radiant having to fall back now. Walls dropped onto a loan, as is the Eclipse, but Park has. He needs to get himself out of there with a high ground retreat. Darkseer is roared now, and Sacred. Well, he pops his mech. Thinks about turning and fighting because Dark Mago's brought back into this. The stun, the TP cancel, the kill onto Oscar now. Alone, doesn't have Swash, but he's got a shield crash and maybe he attempts to retreat. But Dark Mago and Pakaz are going to close in on him. Knowing that Swash is on cooldown now. This Batrider will chase him into the trees and the Glaives bounce straight towards Alone for Marcy's clear up. Matthew from down just for a perfect team fight. Like they didn't use a single hero here. Like they didn't overlap any of the abilities. He's just straight up dead here, it feels like. Oh my god! What's that range? It's insane, Gary. Like, she found the Keen Optic, bought the Eater Lens. Oh, that's nuts. Uh, pull the tablecloth when there's loads of glassware and plates <laughs> on top. She's like, no, nope. suddenly you're miles away. Everyone else untouched. And we've got, got another. Affliction down. It's a roar there that lands into the two of them. Dox is stunned up. His Dark Mug is turned on. Parker's Melt Strike makes short work of him, but now Parker is completely alone. Matthew unleashes the damage onto him, but does fall in the process. Still a couple of good kills for the Radiant as they pick off Axel in the back. Oh, that's die back. Surge. Michael is there with the Ink Swell and Infernal Blade, but Pakaz and Pandamu doing an awful amount of damage. Well, he forced to retreat with a... the... The damage output that you deal to be able to try to kill, okay. like, especially Grimstroke. If they find Grimstroke, oh. that's pretty valuable. Oh, Dark Margo is, is with that a bit. Alone chucks the tip at him, but ah, it was questionable. He jumped in, didn't decide what he was really meant to be doing, and just get some meld struck by P Infamous. Really feeling themselves off the back of that. Mm, Pakaskar died, uh, so he had to go to the side shop enemy. Sorry, secret under. shop. There's no side shop anymore. They're all under Hawk Vision. 
But Master. he doesn't have a TP, that's the problem. Marcy about to die, and yeah, Pakaz has to take the long walk around. Just about gets away from danger. Don't think that Sacred's gonna have the same luxury though. Break up the high ground. They're gonna see Matthew first. Pakaz gets hit by the dive bomb, and they're just beelining it straight towards this Luna. She does have a BKB and a TP. Alone's coming in. They glimmicate Pakaz. Is he out of there? He's gonna get roared up and they have by gem. Oscar. And they see him surrounded by dire heroes. What's Panda Moo gonna do? What can you actually do to save this Luna? Maybe turn with Eclipse and battle. Michael down and Luna's out. Pakaz surviving? Oh my god, he actually gets out of there. Panda Moo sacrifices himself so that the Luna can live. Yeah, because Panda Moo, he blinked out immediately. I thought he's. And Dark Mark goes so fast. Am I going on him though? Thinking about it with that blink rolling thunder, they force the BKB. So Margo, he wants to lasso, but now there's a Lotus Orb up on the Pango as Marcy jumps in, disposes and catches, and the Eclipse clears through the Grim Stroke. Parkhurst with that BKB surge just charges forward and slays alone. Oh, it's huge damage. Park has the BKB TP, and there's nothing to stop that right there. Infamous cracks are starting to show. Try to go in with the Force Staff, then click the Force Staff on himself. That's why he bought it, to be able to proc the Lincolns. Alone's lassoed. Uh, Darmago don't care about the Lotus Orb. Michael's jumped in, but the wall is dropped on them. Oh, Parker's killing himself. He's hitting himself, but they do kill off Matthew and Sacred and forcing out two buybacks. Oscar, he doesn't have Roar. He's just going in with axes, but he does zone out Parker's, and it's another illusion that's causing havoc, and Parker picking up a triple kill. A Grimstroke Dark Portrait. Oh, the move speed. Luna is out. Matthew, Lotus Orb, removing that silence. Has a Ghost Scepter. And they pop Lincolns and Oscar. They dispose vacuum into the base as well. And Darmaga with another buyback. Continue the streak on Pakan's Luna. It's time to go. It's it like they could potentially oh, go in, take one DD. fight, and try to end the game because Parker they can DD. feel that they're. Oh, Didi Templar Assassin. Parker Didi. He wants to go in. Pakaz, he's being jumped. Half HP. He pops the man to try to run away, but Parker's straight on his tail. Down goes the Luna. Buyback is available. But now we're running out of buybacks on the Radiant. Batrider just spent his. The Rolling Thunder with 25 talent is going to be available again. Marcy. Oh, Matthew blown up completely. And Dark Margo now facing the physical damage of the TA. But he gets the BKB lasso. Refresher. And the lasso again. Can he go for more? Drag the TA back behind tier fours. Oh, they need the damage though. The Luna has to retreat back to Fountain because she's scared of what's coming. And now a soul binds in. Parkas turns. Battles into Parker. Holding Aegis though, this TA, so we'll respawn after this initial death. And Alone zones them out while the buildings are being broken and taken by Oscar. They are demolishing the this TA though with the beams. Parker under the wall, dead. The dark illusion of this Luna though, causing some serious issues for Thunder. They buy back TA, they've killed off two on the Radiant. And they Until Marcy's back, they know that there's no lasso as well on top of that. The bunch. Maybe, if they kill Alone. I can move on for more. Nice little man to dodge away from the meld. And Parker, remember, he bought back. So, has to blink away without refraction up. Oscar roars. Dark Mago and plays aggressively with Michael Parker. Sprinting towards the Batrider and will take him down. Sacred and Pakaz, it's all up to them now to maybe try and bring this oh, TA he's down. Deep enough. He's going to psionic jump away to a trap. Oscar will be the only casualty remaining. And TA saves herself. Not having that buyback is a huge deal and a good blink out there. Michael and Axel retreating from the vacuum of sacred, the but they punch. do get the punch and the catch on to the Grim Stroke. Any more stuns? None available. So Marcy and Wyvern having the buybacks. Luna, no money, and the jump onto the bat who also doesn't have buyback. It's doomed up. Half HP, Dark Margo, dead. 100 seconds without him. Cold Embrace onto Matthew as he's roared up and sacred trying to get into the fight, but he's soul bound and crashed around. This pango causing havoc. Everybody is going to have to buy back here from Thunder because their tier fours are being assaulted. Now the throne is exposed. They're just going to go for it. They want to end it. Yeah, there's nothing to stop them. They vacuum, they wall, they drop everything, but the throne dies. Infamous taking game one against Thunder. Already, you now series one of two or three and an upset comes from South America. I thought there could potentially be a comeback. Uh couple of sloppy fights from Thunder Awaken, but Infamous, after the horrendous laning stage, they managed to pick a really good fights, like their execution was...
heroes like Clockwork because he got a little bit of a buff and uh, also like he's oh. not a he's Oscar. not as greedy. The chaos ball, it finishes him, and there is that bit of blood spilt on the floor. Yep. While Sacred has pulled into large camp. So getting the most out of that bottom lane as he gets cycloned around by the Wild Wing. This is a killer lane. I like that Alchemist it's started the play lane. on stable concussion. Lane. That's also a killer. <laughs> but they're going to go in again. A little bit of a miscommunication there. Still, this this should be a kill as well. Yeah, still zones the Beastmaster away from tower and he might have to walk back through it. And he actually turns and fights Pandamu. Perfect. At least gets the trade. But that's yeah, all the XP a... into the into the CK. Exactly. Like the <laughs> has two points in Grievous Greed. He's the most farm hero in the game if we swap to net worth. Oh, they throw that wrath of nature and TP top. Michael trying to body block Pakaz, but here comes Matthew to turn the tides. Ink swell and the stun lands, Oscar. Under a wild wing tornado as well, going to die. So if they can lose only Oscar, top. that's good. That's completely fine. Dark Mago. Yeah, there's his arena. He finds him. Gets Michael on the retreat. Has it been punished enough in the first 10 minutes? I, I don't feels think like so. No. But usually with Alchemist's draft, like you want to stay ahead. You, ooh, if they find ooh, him here. If they can find him. They get Parker. He's in ulti form for another 10 seconds or so. Very tanky. The full force of the Dire Squad surrounding him, but Parker surviving now alone. Arrive. TP's in. Sprouts Pandamu. They won't lose the Alk and they'll get a freebie on the Treant. Doom is there chasing the Grim Stroke, but he's speared away. And a deny is incoming from Dark Margo. As he escapes the Sprout himself. This is big. Like, this is huge for Alchemist. Some pressure off Alk right now. So if he gets jumped again, is danger zone for Dark Margo though. Doomed up, and the poison attacks flying. They soul bound up Michael, and they cyclone the alchemist. Team another deny. His plan for the dire, and another deny onto Dark Margo. But Michael dropping, and the radiant running out of gas have got to reset and reconsider how they start this fight because Pakas is there blowing up Oscar. Down he goes. Matthew follows. Alchemist. He's not got no ulti anymore. They're just hitting crit down by the CK. Axel turned into a piggy, running and sprinting, oinking his way back towards Fountain, but the reality rift will slow his retreat and a double kill picked up. Alchemist, he has BKB flying to him. Incredibly important and a blink away from Michael, but Dark Mago and Pakaz, they've spotted Parker. Forced his BKB out, no chemical rage though, and CK whacking away, but he's been roared and halted under this tier two tower. Infamous holding their own, even as they get overgrowth. The Treant very close to death, but Bakaz is the target they really want. Can they kill him off? They've oh, got good the jump stun. to Michael again. The Infernal Blade and a beautiful stun. Matthew now in a lot of trouble, and Parker has got his chemical grade ready. Sacred, he finally gets the ulti off. But what can he do? Cyclone the Alk and run away. Maybe kill Michael on the retreat. But he's just got to bail. I, play myself. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I do like to harp on about the wards, but yeah, there's the Beastmaster as well. There's Treants, and there's another jump in. Sacred Demolish, BKB out from Park is out, focusing Pakaz, the CK's in trouble. He's got a BKB in run, but he's been roared and sprouted. Held in place, the arena's gonna defensively keep them at bay. They overgrowth their arena, but they're gonna lose Pandamu and probably Dark Margo as well. He can't cut through the sprout, he's got no Quelling Blade, it's in his backpack, so he's stuck here, bulwarking and trying to hold his ground as Matthew's being pummeled by Affliction's Viper, and Michael jumps in, helps secure the kill. Pakaz has a blink dagger. He's got eyes on. Phantasm stun drags the Viper up. Michael's there with a save and help and affliction. He's got the ghost off. Scepters himself away. Still dies, but they got the doom and the damage onto the CK. Well worth it for Infamous. Pakaz, what are you thinking? Matthew's dropping too. He tried to TP in the in the vicinity of Parker's out. There's no stopping this lad. It's Dark Margo. Initiated on by Michael. Bruce split two. They cyclone the Alk and focus in the a two. second. There, he's still full HP with BKB though. And they've got a roar on to Dark Margo. Didn't get his bulwark off, so down he drops. Concocted and stunned. And three heroes dead with no buybacks. Yeah, I believe this is game, Gary. Sacred's going for the primal split to try and delay them. But the throne is falling. 
Michael being pummeled by the little fire spirit, but Parker and alone focusing the throne. XDs are dropped and the game will end as a 2-0 for Infamous. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like, this is the alchemist, you know, uh, it, it, it can go both ways, uh, but uh, they managed like that fight near the tier 2 tower mid is what just changed the game. And then another fight after that where Doom gets a good opening on a CK. Like CK needs to use Phantasm and he needs to be...